I suppose that if you have been getting away with something for decades, why wouldn't you keep doing what works? The journalist Ismail Al Ghul, who was decapitated the other day by the IOF, yes, there are photos of it, it's horrific, was just one of over a hundred journalists that have been murdered in Gaza for doing their jobs, for bringing the truth to the world. And so of of course the IOF comes out and says, okay, yes, we did do that, but he's Hamas. No, literally, that's always what they do. No questions asked, no evidence needed, nothing. They just say it and then all over the media, the media just repeats it. This is trending on Twitter right now. IOF eliminates Hamas operative evidence. But what they have learned, and they're not wrong for learning this, is that they don't need evidence because there's never any consequences. There is never any accountability or consequences for them killing Palestinians. They can decapitate as many as they want. They can kill as many people in the press as they want. And the so-called world community of free press is not gonna say anything. There's no consequences on the international stage, no sanctions, nothing. So of course they're gonna lie about it. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing how they just keep coming back to this well. They murder someone and people are like, oh my gosh, you murdered a journalist. Oh, actually, I know he was a journalist, but he was actually Hamas. And everyone goes, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They were claiming he was a part of October 7th. Evidence? No? It's amazing that they're able to make these claims over and over and over again without ever providing a scintilla of evidence and they just get away with it. No one should ever believe what they say, especially since they have a history of lying. They have been caught, their government, in so many lies over and over again, debunked lies over and over and over again, and yet they are still, despite being caught in lie after lie, are treated with credibility when they speak on these things. Of course they are lying. They are so comfortable with the fact that they don't ever have to be accountable for anything that they don't even bother trying to come up with a new unique lie. They don't need to. Because if you're never questioned for anything and if it ain't broke, don't fix it, then like, why would they need to come up with anything else? Like, they're literally lazy in their lying because they haven't had to come up with more creative lies because they are never questioned. So they can murder a journalist, decapitate him, and just go, yeah, it's totally fine because Hamas. You'll be hearing a lot about Ismail Al Ghul today, a supposed journalist for Al Jazeera who was eliminated in IOF operation. But before you shed a tear from him, he was Hamas terrorist who participated in October 7th that was Robert Abbas before. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. This is literally made up. And unfortunately, he's just one of thousands of propagandists on X tweeting about this right now. Do not believe it. Seriously, question it. Ask yourself why every single time they murder someone, they just go Hamas and then that's the end of the story. Ask yourself why they never agree to outside investigation. Ask yourself why they've refused to let foreign journalists come into the strip. So the only people that can report on it are journalists within the strip and they just keep killing them. And then they don't have to provide any evidence that he was a part of Hamas or October 7th. They just say it. And people go, oh, well, okay. I guess if the congenital liar said so. I think the thing that gets me the most, aside from the fact that these people are able to kill with impunity and they never have to explain it and they never have to provide any evidence, they can just spew this shit and people just accept it. The other thing that really gets me about it is that they are constantly smearing smearing the Palestinians in their death. They give them no dignity, not even in death, because they murder them first and then they smear them as terrorists once they're dead. It's fucking disgusting. When are people gonna wake the fuck up?